Rob the Backyard Gardener here. I'm super excited about a new series I'm gonna do this year. So I've got a couple of different species of corn, if you will. I've got a jackpot hybrid, and I've also got a G90. Anyway, we're gonna plant about 20 of each into three separate containers each, and we're gonna take a look to see how well they do this year. Last year I learned from my mistakes. I rushed some of the pollination. I'm gonna rely on the fact that they're in close proximity to one another and let nature do the pollinating. Anyway, let's get started. So here's my jackpot hybrid sweet corn. If you recall, I started with four containers, about 22 uh, plantings. And uh, what I noticed was a couple of the seeds didn't come up in this one or in that one. So I took the extra pot that was here, which now I'm gonna use for my G90 series. And the few that came up in that pot, I just kind of put them in here. You can see one's coming up there, but I planted one here one here and one back there. These were sown also on 511. Same thing as the G90 series, soak the seeds for 19 hours, but instead of putting them in a tray and keeping them indoors, I instantly planted them out here. Here's the thing guys, these guys are only like an inch, inch and a half tall. And when I show you ones that I have inside, they're much, much taller. Anyway, I'll show you the ones inside, then I'm gonna bring those out and plant them in the other pots out here. I'll be right back. So this is the G90 sweet corn. I actually sowed these seeds on 511.16. Technically didn't really sow them on 511.16, but 511.16 was the date that I decided to do something I normally don't do with sweet corn. I soaked the seeds for about 19 hours. I was supposed to do 18, but I was an hour late getting them out, but 18 hours, and then I put them in a container I sewed them in this container and guys today's the 22nd so it's only been 11 days and we had many of them come up and many of them are doing really well what's also cool about this is that these seeds were expired by almost six months five months and uh, so I I sewed them all 25 that were left 19 came up they're looking beautiful Time to get them in outside containers. I'll be right back. Okay, so now we're outside. Here's the three pots that I've chosen for them. Looks like I've uh, got it labeled G90 on 511. We've got 19 plants if my memory serves me correctly. Either way, I'm gonna count the plants and I'm gonna try to get six in each pot. Obviously, uh, six for sure in the big one. These are a little bit smaller, but we'll see how they do. Let's get them inside the pots. So you really got to do a good job of tickling the roots to get these guys out of here. I'll uh, show you what I'm up against here on another one here. Obviously, I probably could have pulled these out a little bit earlier, but I like to get just underneath them, just like this, and just tickle them up, kind of like that. And what happens is you get one that's pretty well defined. You might end up breaking a root or two, but for the most part, we got 90% of the roots. Anyway, wanted to show you. I've already laid out a grid down here. This is what it's gonna look like. Five on the outside and one in the middle. And I do have 18 plants. So we're gonna get six in each. I'll show you the final result here in a second, guys. You know what, guys? I've gotta show you some of these root systems. Look at these things. I mean, they're all monster roots on these corns in those containers. Anyway, I just wanted to give you a look. I've separated them out. Now I'm gonna plant them. Holy smokes. All right, so there they are, guys. Got them all planted. Hopefully, I didn't uh, hurt them too much. Just going to top them off with a little bit of water here. Our soil's already wet, but need to make sure they get some extra because I just make sure I need to settle the ground down. Sorry, the camera looks bad. Anyway, everyone, this is the uh, first week of the Container Grown Corn 2016 series. Wish me luck. If you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe and leave any comments down below if you have any comments or questions. Thanks again.